Are you still messing with pendulums? I feel like we've gone over this before. Have we gone over this before? Yeah, but you said pendulums were the best deck. They are. But True Drakers won YCS Salt Lake City and pendulums were nowhere to be found. So? So that means they're the best deck. What deck are you playing right now? Burning Abyss. Okay, so if Burning Abyss was currently the best deck in the game, what cards would you play specifically to stop it? Well, Macrocosmos, Dim Fisher, Shadow Imprisoning Me... I see where you're going with this, but how can Pendulums be the best deck if every other deck knows that they're the best deck and prevents them from topping? Are you still my brother even though I can kick your ass? We're not kids anymore. You can't still beat me. Okay, yeah. So let's just say I did hit you, right? Would that make you a different person? Would that just instantly change who you are just because I hit you and beat you? Well, no. Right, because you're exactly the same as before. You just might need to work out. So what you're saying is... Except for you. You will never be able to kick my ass or anyone's ass ever. Not in a million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. Like I said, you just might need to work out a little bit. Gosh, we have a lot to talk about. But really quick before we do, guys, I have to give a shout out to all my patrons, of course. Thank you guys all so much for your love and support. It is so much appreciated. As always, you guys are absolutely amazing and you really help keep the channel going. I cannot thank you guys enough for what you do. Seriously, I cannot thank you enough for what you guys do. You are fantastic. And of course, guys, I have to give a shout out to our sponsor, MetaMask.com, made by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off of any map from MetaMask.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus and you will get 10% off of any map that you want. All right, so now with the shout outs out of the way, today's video is going to be about YCS Salt Lake City, and I'm gonna be talking about that basically the entire video, but then we're gonna be opening up some fan mail. So that is what is on today's list, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start this discussion off by saying that something like YCS Salt Lake City happens just about every single Yu-Gi-Oh format, where something is expected to win or do well or just dominate, and then it doesn't, where there's some kind of upset. That happens all the time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I've said, a million other times on the channel guys Yu-Gi-Oh history really does repeat itself in some way or another it really does repeat itself and it's because it's just that it's the same game that we all know and love it really is and what I was trying to get at and explain earlier with Eugene in the intro of this video is that it doesn't matter how big and bad and tough you are if someone knows what to do against you and sucker punches you you're going down you're going down you could be the toughest man on the planet guys and you can still get sucker punched and taken down right if someone knows what they're doing but does that make you any less the toughest man on the planet? No. Someone just sucker punched you, right? It, it means you need to improve a little bit so you can make sure that that doesn't happen again. And that is, in my opinion, exactly what happened with Pendulums this weekend at YCS Salt Lake City. Everyone, including myself, I mean, I think for the most part, everyone expected kind of a repeat of what's been happening. Pendulums, for the most part, to do better than every other deck, to be the most well-represented deck in top 32 or top 64, whatever unit of measurement you want to use here okay we just all expected pendulums to do a lot better than they did and true draco completely stole the show completely stole the show but not only did they steal the show but plenty of other decks were able to use the same kind of strategies that they used and be able to kind of topple over pendulums with ease in other words since everyone knew going into ycs salt lake city that pendulums were expected to be the best deck and expected to be the most well-represented deck at that event Literally everyone and their dog. I literally saw a dog running around with anti-spell fragrance, okay? Everyone and their dog was main decking to, to counter pendulums. Everyone was. And a True Draco did so the best. I mean, a True Draco is the most kind of anti-meta or the best anti-meta-ish option currently available. So they won the event. And of course, one of the reasons why they were better and what gave them an edge is Masterpiece, which is Cleefort Towers, which we all know historically was a bitch of a card. And the same still applies right now. Masterpiece is a bitch of a card and gives you an advantage because it's this big monster that it's hard to out and if your opponent does not have an out to it, you are going to beat them to death with it. It's just that simple. And of course that's not the only factor here. I'm not saying you know that this is completely cut and dry I mean because you know the pilot is a huge factor. Huge factor. I mean different players, I mean you could take like a bad pendulum player and put them up against a good Burning Abyss player for example and that Burning Abyss player is going to win every single time if you're a bad player. It's just 
it comes down to that as well. But the point here is just overall, we all thought Pendulums were going to be the best deck and we thought that they were going to win YCS Salt Lake City and they didn't. Everyone was completely prepared. Um, so for Pendulums moving forward, and this is kind of like the, the other point that I want to get at here. Pendulums um, aren't just a bad deck out of nowhere. It's not like, oh, they didn't talk this one event so they're completely thrown out, unviable. No, no, guys. Guys, they're still the best deck. They are still the best deck in the game. And the reason why is because they have the highest ceiling. They can side deck the best. They have the best recoverability. I mean, everything, guys. Pendulums just can do everything that your deck can't do. And they can build a bigger board and do everything that your deck can't do and more, okay? But even though Pendulums are that good, even though they can build big boards and side better cards and stuff like that, they still lost. And they still lost because... I don't think any Pendulum player was expecting, you know, main deck anti-spell fragrances, main deck Monarchs Erupt, the sheer number of true Draco matchups that they would be going up against, other decks, you know, taking notes, and also expecting Pendulums and playing anti-spell fragrance themselves, for example. Pendulum players, I don't think we're really expecting that all that much. I mean, to a certain degree, but not to this degree. And that's kind of the point, okay? I think that Pendulum players and Pendulums really need to kind of restructure at this point, because now everyone's going to be looking at true Draco, because it's like, hey, this is now probably the best deck because look it takes the best deck and it makes it its bitch right so I mean, and so logically it's like well this is the best deck well um it's only it's only gonna stay that good and stay that um i guess it's gonna stay the best deck only as long as it can prevent whatever pendulums are going to do next and what pendulum players are going to come up with next to out their crap i mean for example just off the top of my head this is something i thought of before i hit record on this video um i thought of trap eater okay and this is a card that i love that I've talked about several times on the channel. Um, it outs anti-spell fragrance. It's a level four dark tuner. It's just a really, really good card. But that's just off the top of my head, guys. I'm serious. Like this is just one a one card example of, of something that pendulums can play that works with their deck that outs anti-spell fragrance or monarchs erupt or, or any or any you know uh, continuous trap card, skill drain, etc that is hurting them. And of course, Pendulum players are also, you know, already citing Sideblocker in a lot of cases, and Sideblocker outs anti-spell fragrance. Guys, I mean, and it's a level four. Guys, the list just goes on here, okay? Pendulum players are gonna have to really look at True Dracos and look at YCS Salt Lake City and make adjustments and try to come back. If you wanna be, in other words, guys, if you want to play Pendulums right now, you're gonna really need to look at what happened at YCS Salt Lake City, make adjustments, and continue accordingly. That's really what's gonna have to happen. That is what is called innovation or adapting within a format. That's just what happens every single format, guys. And like I said earlier, Yu-Gi-Oh! history does repeat itself, and this reminds me a lot of Necroz format. It really does. It reminds me of the Necroz Burning Abyss dynamic, where, I mean, looking back, we even still call Necroz format, Necroz format, because Necroz was the best deck. It was the best deck. But even though it was the best deck, and that's that year, when Necroz should have won, they didn't. Burning Abyss won. Burning Abyss won Nats, and as a matter of fact, the final the final match was a Burning Abyss mirror match. But we still call it Necroz format, and we still look back and acknowledge it's Necroz being the best deck. But Burning Abyss won Nats. So what's up with that? Well, the, well, the thing is, what's up with that is that Burning Abyss and Burning Abyss players looked at ne you know looked around them, looked at the format, and they were like, "Here's the cards that we can play in our deck." and beat Necroz and win. And not just beat Necroz, beat everything. And that's what Pendulum players are gonna have to do now. And that's kind of the point of the video, guys. This isn't the first upset, you know, this isn't the first time a, a deck was expected to top. You know, this is exactly what I was saying at the beginning of the video. This is not the first time a deck was expected to top or do well and not. This is not the first time this has happened at all. And since this isn't the first time that this has happened, we're able to look back and be like, okay, well, this is what they did, they adapted. We need to adapt, and that's it's just that simple, guys. Long story short, everyone's kind of going into a frenzy right now but after YCS Salt Lake City this weekend, being like, "Oh, should I dump my Pendulum deck? Should I should I pick up Pendulums? Should I just should I adjust Pendulums? You should adjust Pendulums. And if you feel like dumping Pendulums because they they're bad, or you feel like you know True Dracos are better, then you should dump Pendulums. The, the other point of this video, guys, is that the format is still evolving, it's still developing, and we have a long way to go until Nats, guys. So I think we have a lot of long battles and a lot of weird YCS's regionals and stuff ahead of us until we get there. Okay, I think there's going to be a lot more disappointments, especially because of this format. This format, if you look at the top 32 deck profiles from the last couple YCS, YCS's we've had, 
we've we've gotten more diversity, more diversity than we've had in a very long time, possibly in years in Yu-Gi-Oh. Seriously, not lying, guys, not lying. Especially because you know, just like around this time last year. I mean, no, it really during this time last year, actually, we were in Tier Zero Zoo format. If you wanted to top or win or do anything, you were playing Zoo. You just you just were. So it's just a one deck format, essentially, right? Versus now, where we have so many viable decks, so many viable decks, guys. And that's kind of what I'm gonna leave you guys with in this video before we get into the mail. I'm gonna ask the question, what are we going to call this format in the future if this kind of patterns, if these, if these kind of patterns and random tops keep happening? I mean, we can't call this pendulum format. I mean, if, if True Draco keeps topping, I guess we can call it, uh, you know, True Draco format looking back. But what will this format currently be called with everything kind of being all around? I mean, we still call hat format, hat format when it was a pretty diverse format and it was kind of the best deck. So is this gonna be like pendulum formats or what is this? I mean, I, I know a lot of people are just calling this whole era, you know, link format, but that's kind of incorrect. It's kind of the link era of Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the Varane's era of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I mean? So that being said that this is a link era, not a link format, what are we going to call this in the future? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea, and I have no idea what's going to shape up. But that's kind of what I'm going to leave you with it here now, because think about it. When we look back at this format with everything going on, what are we going to call it? <laughs> but, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. All right, so we have this box, okay? And this box is from Dylan Lucy. And um, I don't know what's in here, but like it's it's pretty heavy and I hear like a tin or something rolling around in here So I have no idea what this is. Let's find out though. So I got the box cut Let's see what all is in here. Or at least I thought I had the box cut all the way. Oh my gosh There's so much duct tape guys so much duct tape. Okay now the box is cut open What, <laughs> what is this? Okay, is this okay? This has got his address on it. Make sure there's nothing in here though. So there's nothing in that. So yeah, that is the return. That is the return packaging. What is all in here though? What is okay? So a bunch of uh, sleeve cards, like a bunch of top loaders, a bunch of mats. What is all this? Okay, so a lot of the um, the battle pack mats. Um, a tin, like I like I was hearing. This one's opened though. I don't know what's in here. So there's that. A letter on the bottom. Okay, dude, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, uh, let's settle this down somewhere. Okay. I guess this can go over here. Um, let's see what my instructions are. This is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so dear Yugi Nono, my name is Dylan and I'm uh, from Delaware. I wanted to send you some old uh, old cards, some fake cards, and cards for you to sign. All of the cards in the white sleeves are for you to keep. All of the cards in top loaders, please sign and send back. The return mailer will be uh, will, will need to be uh, taped shut to the. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I know. I've done that a million times. Do the same. My first rodeo. I'll, I'll uh, yeah. I'll take that show before I send it back out dude thank you so much for sending all this stuff though oh my gosh oh my gosh that is this is insane thank you so much like oh my gosh okay I am a semi-competitive player I play uh, trick stars currently the deck is uh, is very in my uh, wheelhouse because I tend to be a very control deck player me too uh, uh, as of late I used to be like way more combo oriented but uh, the past uh, couple years my my deck style has really changed but uh, my favorite uh, deck of all time is Yosinju's I have a non uh, Yu-Gi-Oh related question my favorite band is Metallica and my favorite song of theirs is uh, for whom the bell tolls what what is your favorite Metallica song? Ooh, ooh, uh, believe it or not, I know it's blasphemy to like the Black Album a lot, but like I really like the Unforgiven one a lot. It's it's, a, it's a, one of my favorite Metallica songs, it really is. But of course I also like Battery, Blackened, One, Master of Puppets, like, I mean, look, okay, Metallica is the greatest metal band of all time, okay? Pantera may be my favorite band, okay? But Metallica is the greatest metal band of all time. They have so many good songs, so many hit songs, so many, so many just memorable songs, guys. Like, like, okay, back up. <laughs> let, me, let me back up. Okay, long story short, just about every Metallica is good. Not not new Metallica. I don't like new Metallica either. Okay, but I'm talking about Metallica. Metallica. I don't think they ever made a bad song. I, I really don't think they did, man. But um, anyways, that is all for this letter. I will be sending the the rest of my Cyber Dragon deck for you to sign eventually. Have a wonderful day from Dylan Lacey. Well, thank you very very much. Uh, P.S. Decided to uh, throw you some mats while. <laughs> 
while I was at it. Oh my gosh. Dude, more mats for the wall. Thank you so, so much. I'm speechless. This is insane. Um, I don't, I guess let's, let's crack open uh, these cards and see. Uh, so this is actually really cool because I don't have either of these two. I used to have this obelisk one, um, but I gave it to some, some kid at locals one time. Um, I never had this one. I never had this battle pack three one. I have this uh, other battle pack three one with a uh, fairy cheer girl over here, but I don't, I didn't never, never got the forbidden Lance one, like the forbidden cards one, but uh, let's see what cards I need to sign. So all these in the top letters need to sign. And then everything, I think the 10 he sent for me, but Cyber and Dragon, dude, did you send me, oh my gosh, did you send me Cyber Dragons, dude, he, I think this might be, hold on, oh my gosh, this is amazing, so he started sending me his Cyber Dragon deck to sign, this is incredible, dude, I'll absolutely sign all of it, dude, uh, yeah, send me the whole thing, I'll, dude, I'll sign the whole thing, <laughs> like seriously, oh my gosh, if you guys want to, uh, yeah, I, I say this all the time, you know, when I open this stuff, um, but um, if you guys want to, uh, you know, have cards signed and sent back to you from me, then um, just stamp an address, a uh, proper packaging in with your cards, and uh, I will send them back and what you send me to send them back in. That's just, it's just that simple. And uh, this guy definitely wanted me to sign a lot and he sent me, uh, you know, a package, for example, to send all this back in. So, you dude, you did it all right. And not only did you do this right, but you sent, like, some awesome stuff uh, to, to sign and just in the in, for me to keep, like, what? And I'm not even done opening all this. This isn't, oh my gosh, this is insane. What is the <laughs> Cyber Twin Dragon, dude? Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away right now. This is incredible. And uh, by the looks of it, like at the time of this recording, like, you know, from that new poster from uh, Cybernetic Horizon, it looks like we could be getting some new, like, really good Cyber Dragon cards. So at the time of this recording, it might happen. <laughs> it might happen. We'll have to see. Uh, but yes, I'll absolutely sign all of those and send them back your way. But um, oh my gosh, what is this? Wow, hold on, hold on. So a bunch of, there's there's fake cards and real cards in here. I just saw the back of a fake one. There it is. Yeah, I just, I knew I saw the back of a fake. Ooh, so, so there's a bunch of fakes in here. Oh, that's crazy. This is going to be nuts. I can't wait to see what this is. Okay, and another 10 to keep stuff in. Thank you so much, by the way. Thank you so, so much, like, for everything. This is this is absolutely incredible. Let's see what we have, though. So we have Big Eye. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Big Eye Mystic. Dude, did you just send me all of your Big Eyes and Mystic Clouds? You troll. Okay. No, so, so Mrs. Radiant, so Mindless Radiant, but I do have the Island of Misfit binder and people send me, <laughs> send me, oh my gosh, I do have this binder right here known as the Island of Misfit binder where people kind of send me all of their Misfit cards and I put them in there, but I'm running out of, I'm running out of space in it because I keep forgetting to put more, put more pages in there, but dude, I think you sent me a million big eyes, seriously, oh my gosh, Evil Sword Thunder, but there we go, there's something else that's not a big eye, a Dawn, I was like, dude, did you send me a million big eyes? I don't think I have enough space. Like I was just saying, like I need to put more, more pages in the binder. I don't think I could put all these in here today. Uh, Lord of D, Penguin Soldier. Dude, what is... This is the most interesting random bunch of cards ever. What, what even? Ma messenger of Peace. A super messenger of peace. Rocket Warrior. Secret Rocket Warrior. What? That's cool. What? what? It's Kaiser C... <laughs> this is like the most bizarre... Ne Exodia Necros... <laughs> Whoa! This is the most weird, random uh, intro sphinx. So, like, just random foils. Uh, acts of despair. <laughs> Ultra rare acts of despair. This is a really weird mix of cards. Necklace of command. Ultimate rare. First dead. Uh, what? Okay, so seven tools of the bandit. Ultra rare. That is way cool for metal raiders. That is. That is really sick. What? Okay, so Batia. <laughs> Petite Moth. Petite Moth. This is seriously a really <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is like the most this is the probably the, the highest variety of cards any one person, any one person has sent me all at once, I think. I'm, I think maybe. No, 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 no. Uh, because I've gotten custom packs to open. So minus okay, so minus like the custom packs and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I'm pretty sure that this might be. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not 100% sure because I mean, I get, I've gotten a lot of mail and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that this might be the highest, you know, d like the most diversity, like the most, you know, the highest variety of, of card types and stuff that any one person has sent me, like outside of like pack openings and, and like custom pack openings and stuff. That is crazy. And then um, uh, Mylas Radiant, Starboy, the original Mrs. Radiance, and me, Starboy, yet yeah, another Mylas Radiance. Oh my gosh, the oh, Royal Command, wow! 
That is sick. Hold the <laughs> what? Dude, you are a madman. You are an absolute madman. What? Whoa. Called the haunted hero signal ultimate. Whoa. Okay, so ultimate hero signal. Different dimension dragon. Super rare. What is dark necrofear? And then, oh my, this is, this is crazy. Mirage Knight, you know what? I need to, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too anxious. This is like way too much. Card, card of Sanctity. And then token, what token festival? Token festival, whoa, this is, this is so bizarre. Xarian universe. But we're getting like, we're getting so much random stuff. Whoa, so much. So I think this one's a fake. Yeah, this one's a fake. Blue eyes, white dragon. And he, so here's some fake ones. A black demon monster. Um, so a fake slifer and then a fake raw. But this, whoa, that's not fake. That is, a, that's just a Japanese um, uh, limiter removal. Uh, ooh, oh, monster reborn. Pot of, ooh. What is this cool Japanese stuff too? Dude, you're a total madman. Mr. Cloud, so more stuff for more stuff for, for the island of Misfit Binder. Wall of Illusion, so lots of good 2002 format stuff. I mean, so the Lord of D everything, Azarian, good goat stuff, uh, Air Knight, more goat stuff. Just wow. Uh, more goat stuff. Noble might noble might cross out and Xerian. Wow. Dude, you are insane. Thank you so, so much. Like, I I am speechless. This is, I don't know, man. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. This is incredible. Thank you so much for even the fake cards to add to my fake card collection. Um, I actually, I'm pretty sure I do have all of these, but just seriously, just thank you so, 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 so much. Anyways, thank you so much for trying. Just thank you all, guys all so much for, for always trying to contribute to my fake card collection and to my structure deck mat collection. Like, it, it seriously does mean a lot to me that you guys keep up with all the random stuff that I do and, and want to help me and stuff. It, me it means the world to me. It seriously does. This is, oh my gosh, dude, Dylan, thank you so much. Again, I'll definitely sign these and get them back your way. I'm just absolutely speechless right now. Subscribe! <laughs>